Five, four, three, two, one. So grasshoppers, they had been in bondage so long without hope, so long that they didn't think anything good could come to them. Even though they had seen the manifestation of God's power, they still couldn't accept his gifts. When we're talking about arming our minds, yes, we are all sinners. I'm the greatest of sinners. Yes, we all stumble. Yes, we all fall. Yes, we don't get it right. Yes, we keep trying all of these things. But when it comes to our self-worth, it's not in ourselves. Our self-worth is in the, because of God's grace, because of his mercy, and because he loves us no matter what. And he's always coming for us. He's always pursuing us until we find him. So we're not grasshoppers, and we're going to get rid of the grasshopper mindset. God has for us what he has for us. And as God's people, we're not going to let anybody keep us from what God has for us. Now, today, let's move on to today. We're going to talk about arming our bodies for the battles of life. And we're going to, talk, we're going to start today from 1 Corinthians 6 and 19. Yeah, 6 and 19. And the NIV version says this. Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were bought with a price. Therefore, honor God with your body. Now, when I'm talking about arming our bodies, the one thing I'm not going to talk about today is exercise and dieting. I'm just not going to talk about that today because you know why? Because sometimes people use the scriptures to kind of beat up other people going, you need to be doing this, you need to be doing this, you need to be doing this. No. Today I'm going to be talking from a whole different perspective because what we have here in our bodies is something physical and spiritual. How do I know this? Think about it. Go all the way back to Genesis. God's word, God spoke, God's word. And we hear what the word is later, and John said, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, the word was from God, the word was God. But here, you know, God speaks, God speaks, and you know, it's life, it's day, it's this. And then, when God had done everything, he looked around, he said it was good, he said, then let us go down and make humankind in our image. And that's when God reached down, God's hand reached down and formed humankind. He created us with, from, and through his touch. He created us, not just Adam and Eve, but all of us. We have ways that we come into being, yes, but it's ultimately God knew us before time. So knowing that this God of all took the time to create you and I, then we need to know that our body is a temple. Now, let's look back through the scriptures and talk about temples. Temples was the place where, the abide, where there was the abiding presence of God. So you have all these places where God would be visible, and that God would be visibly manifested in some way, through some form. may not be a physical thing that you can see God, but you can feel his presence. And sometimes there was an abiding presence and so glorified that it was called the Shekinah glory. So, we have these temples in the Old Testament that they were built, and that's where God's presence would be. They they're built in God's presence would be. That omnipresent God would come in a special way into these temples. And yet, Paul says, do you not know that we, us, us, that we are temples of the Holy Spirit? We need to be a place where God can come and abide. How do we get this temple clean? First of all, we've got to find out what's not supposed to be there. 
And that's what we have to do first. We have to look at our lives, look at our situations, look at how we are living, and figure out what doesn't need to be there. What is not of God? What is not for God? What is God? What is in, is in our lives that God can't use? What is it? Because God is calling us to a higher place. He's calling us to a higher place. Not to be comfortable where we are or where we've been. He wants us to keep moving because he has so much more to show us while we're here to prepare us for when we get home. So if our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit, then the Spirit must be, must, must be always on our mind. We must always use every day as a unique opportunity to say to the Holy Spirit, show me where I need to open. Show me where I need to be open. Show me where I can do better. Show me where I can be better. Show me how I can live better. Show me how I can serve better. Show me how I can get closer to God. Not just today, but every day. We get this, we move it every day because the point of our existence here is to get to know our living God as God is. And when we do this, we get to see that this temple this temple that, that, that the Holy Spirit lives in becomes alive. This temple that the Holy Spirit lives in becomes rejuvenated. We get energy we didn't have before. We do things we haven't done before. We see things we haven't seen before. Because now the body is the temple is becoming alive with the Holy Spirit. And when we see this, we get to go and do and achieve because God says he's in his presence. And what does the word say? The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silent. Let all that which is of the world keep silent. And when the Lord is in us, let those things that detract from God's plan for us be silent. When the Lord is in our temple, and he's always in our temple, let those things that keep us down and keep us back be silent. When the Lord is in our temple, and he's always in our temple, let us not stop, let us not rest, let's listen for him, look for him, and be praising him and worshiping him now and forevermore. So today, as we arm our bodies, and we arm our bodies knowing that this temple, this body, is built for eternity. Yes, this body gets sick. Yes, this body gets worn out. And yes, this body will die. But just as Jesus died on the cross, Jesus got up. And people understood that when he got up and they saw him, they still knew it was Jesus. Because he still had a form of his body. It had just been transferred to a different type of body. And this is what we're talking about when our time comes. We're going to move. Our life is going to be changed and everything is going to be different. We, people are going to understand that we are still basically the same, but we're going to have better. And what the better is going to be is something that we can't comprehend now. Paul says, I hasn't seen and ear hasn't heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man that which God has prepared for those who love him. So today we are so grateful that we are arming our bodies that because the devil is going to be after us when we start to get serious about God. See, he doesn't bother us when we're not serious. But when we start to get serious about God, then he's going to get busy. So we need to make sure that we are appropriately and strongly armed for the battles of life in our body, in this temple, both now and for all the days we have left. Every day is an opportunity. Every day is a choice. Every day we have a chance to move closer to our God. God bless you. We'll see you next week.